Hi everyone, in this task you will be calculating the area of a triangle. The program task description says, write a program that takes the dimensions of three sides of a triangle from the user, then using the Heron's formula, calculates the area of the triangle and displays the result to the user. So whenever we're working with the Heron's or Heron's formula, we need four things. Three are going to be the three sides, and then we need the semi-perimeter. So um, uh, pause the video, and uh, after three seconds, you're going to see my solution. All right, so how was uh, the uh, task? I'm sure you did great. And I just remember that I did not give, I did not say like pause the video and three seconds in my previous task. And I'm sorry for that. I'm sure you know what to do uh, when it came to the previous task. From now on, I'm, I'm going to be careful. I'm not going to re-edit the video. That's the fun part. That's not fun. The fun part is just keeping it like that, natural. So from now on, I'll, I'll, I will make sure that um, I stick to my um, methodology that I introduced in the first lecture. So we need to grab three sides from the user and using those three sides, we can calculate the semi-perimeter. So I'm going to say side underscore one. And there is another thing about these challenges that you're going to, your mathematic math, maths skills, they're going to improve a little bit. You're, you're, you might end up knowing some things that you didn't know before. If you're a genius, then this is not a true statement. So we have side two. So basically we are asking the user to input three sides and I'm going to say three not three E's, just let's change this to three. Perfect. And how can we calculate the semi-perimeter? So perimeter. The semi-perimeter is going to grab side one plus side two. You can Google this formula. It's very simple. Side three, and then we basically divide it by two. This is going to give us the semi-perimeter. And then we have our triangle area. So what is the formula for that? So triangle underscore area. Basically, what I would like to do here is I'm going to grab the semi-perimeter. Now, this is this is actually the formula. So try to keep up. So this is semi-perimeter. We are going to multiply it by semi-perimeter minus side one. And then we are going to multiply this by semi-perimeter minus, you guessed it right, side 2. And then we are going to multiply this by semi-perimeter minus side 3. And uh, so, so far, so good. Now, we are going to grab this entire thing and we are going to take the square root of it. And I think that's going to be it. So this is, we have semi-perimeter times uh, semi-perimeter side one, side two, and uh, I forgot to add another one here. So side three. So let's close this right here. So every parenthesis is in place. Now we are going to say print. Now we are going to grab, we are going to say the area of the triangle is... Uh, let's grab the triangle underscore area. Triangle. Perfect. So now let's run this program. We are going to say Python solution. And I'm going to add the side 1, 12, 13, and 14. So this is going to give us the area of the triangle is 72.3. We can round this number as well. So I'm just going to say, uh, let's, I'm going to grab the round method. And this is going to round it for us. So 12, 13, and 14, we get basically 72. That's it for this task. See you in the next one.